Hello and welcome to Mr. Ridley's Design and Technology. In this clip we're going to look at using Techsoft V3 to draw a classic phone in using third angle orthographic projection. So we're going to start, um, we open Techsoft V3 and we've got here which is normally the default a A3 sheet of paper. So the first stage is we go here and select gridlock. This make sure that our lines will snap or fit directly onto the grid. And we'll see that when we start drawing. So once we've ensured that gridlock is, is selected, we take the shape tool rectangle there, and we're going to draw the rough outline of the phone. Now at the moment we can draw it anywhere because we can replace it later. And I'm going to draw it, let's draw it about that size, maybe that size. Then what we're going to do is add two smaller um, squares or rectangles and we're going to draw those in there and there and you can see because I've got gridlock selected um, that the uh, rectangles fit directly to the grid now if I'm not happy with that I can select it so say I want to make this phone just a little bit bigger here this bottom section for the keyboard uh, or keypad I can do that. So I can just select on the shape. So we select on the shape there and just manipulate that shape. So th there's my first shape. The next tool that I'm going to use is I'm going to use the uh, fillet tool. So I'm going to click on here, which is the uh, arcs tool. And I have to move right along here to the draw a filleted arc between two lines. Once I've set that, it's set default at 10 millimeters. So I'm going to use that tool. So once that's selected there, we can see that's depressed. And I just click on the two lines that I want to fill it. And that puts in a fillet radius. So as I say, we're drawing this classic phone. So we're going to kind of make it, I don't know, we won't do that one. We'll do this one and this one, that one and that one. And that gives us our, our kind of chunky look and our screen and keypad. Um, the next thing we're going to do is draw the lines. You select the lines tool and we're going to put in some lines for uh, old school style keypad and then we can do this now i think i've done this before where i've, I've just I'll put these in put these in and then i think from memory that's normally a bigger button or some kind of other function so i'll put that in like that so um there there's my uh view there and so that's basically my front view of my phone so i can click that once you click that you can go up to here and click group and group that but i'm, I'm not going to bother with that i just need to move it down a bit so that i can do my third um, my three views so now i'm going to add my plan view and side view as rectangles but i'm going to keep this grid but gridlock button um, pressed and I'm just going to follow the lines here. So obviously this is the plan view, so it should be above. And then the side view should be here. And I've made this, you can count the, the, the dots here with the grid one, two, three, four. I've made that kind of four wide. So if I go one, two, three, four there and come down um, and make it the same width. So now I've created for my third angle orthographic Layout obviously is a plan view, a front view, and a side view, and these line across to here. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my um, fillet settings, and it's a kind of brick, but it's a kind of rounded out brick. So I, I'm add, adding those those views, and I'm kind of um, putting that sort of detail in. What I might do is I might change this now just to um, change this up. So if I click on this and I could put that up to say 12 just to give myself a different um, radius on the back of the phone. Um, yeah, I could do that. And that gives us a kind of slightly different radius. Perhaps I could have put a more or less one on there. Um, then I'm going to add some details here. So um, normally it kind of split in the case there. And I think here 
I could go um, perhaps down here. So that, that's just giving us some basic shapes. So we've got the now three basic outlines for our phone. Okay, so now we have the three views of the phone drawn. What we're going to do now is we're going to use the contour tool. We also, now we've got these basic shapes, we can um, dispense with gridlock because that will allow us to add some more detail. So if we look at the contour tool here, and this will give us a contour spacing. So we're going to have a couple of different contour spacings. Um, so first thing we might do is put a contour spacing. Um, let's put one around the phone here or around the, sorry, around the screen. And um, we can also, now we've taken gridlock out, if we use the mouse wheel to scroll in and we can add just some detail and we can use this to navigate around. And we've, we've taken gridlock off so that we can draw what we have to do carefully now is make sure that anything we draw is, is fairly accurate. So I've drawn a button there and I'm just going to click on it and use the copy function here to add a, a second button. Um, and what I'll do is I'll cheekily add another one of these and move it up here. Um, and if I move this up to here, and I can use this um, rotate function. Rotate it. Um, make sure it's more or less central there. And there I've added kind of some more detail here. Um, what I can do then, actually, I'll just move that, I'll just zoom in, I'll just move that down slightly a bit more. There. Um, then I can go back to my contour tool. And what I can do there is set my contour spacing at a much smaller spacing. So I could do it at one or two millimeters. Let's have a go at two millimeters. And then just kind of for fun, we can add a little more detail here and perhaps here and even there. Um, and you can kind of go mad with this. You can even do all the fine buttons. I won't. Let's just do these for the time. Okay, so what we've done with the, the contour tool is quite fun because you can kind of easily add, um, we've got a little bit of, I can undo those. I'll, I'll leave it at that, but you, you can see the idea. So what we've got is the three views here. And what we need to do now is just add a text box. So we're gonna click on text here and we just, so I've, I've clicked on the ABC tool and I'm going to just write Classic phone. Now, a, a text box is, is generally um, part of a third angle orthographic. If we use settings here, and the settings will allow us to change the size of our lettering and the font. And I'll, I'll just take this down to about 10 millimeters, I think. Should be okay. Um, I could change the font, but really I don't want anything fancy here. Um, I've got classic phone here. Now, if we want to change that, um, I'm just going to put my name. I can copy that and go into properties. I can just change that as well. So. And go OK. And if I move these down to here, and I could just put myself um, um, I've got that. And then if I go back to gridlock, um, probably gridlock would have been better to do that as well, but we and the last thing we're going to do is just going to add dimension lines. So I click on the dimension line tool here. And we don't want to over dimension this, but to draw this to the correct standard, we want to just put some dimension lines in. So we've got it on gridlock. And all we do for our dimension lines, we're going to put a thickness there. So I'm going to click there and there and pull it down. And that gives us those dimensions. 
And what, what we don't want to do here is, is, is repeat dimensions because we could over dimension it. Um, if the dimension is on one drawing, then we don't need it on another. Or, you know, on, on one view, we don't need it on another. We could just put the screen size in there. That looks quite good, get those to line up. Um, we could put the button size down the bottom here. Um, and we haven't got that width dimension in there, so we can put this here, which we could drag up or down. Um, you could last of all, just put a little board around that. And there we have it. There we've got a classic phone um, drawn in third angle orthographic projection. Thank you for watching Mr. Ridley's Design and Technology. These design and technology lessons are available as A3 sheets in my TS workshop. And please like and subscribe to Mr. Ridley's Design and Technology.